Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Jaguars versus Dolphins NFL Week 3 preseason matchup on Saturday, August 26th. 2023. Here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do free picks every day at sportschatplace.com, pickdogs.com, right here on YouTube, as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others. And to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from the world's best handicappers, head on over to our website, pickdogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. While you're there, use the discount code PICK. You'll get 15% off all of your purchases of $19 or more. We now also have the Pick Dogs Dime Club. This isn't for everyone, but if you think it's for you, you can call the toll-free number on the website, text the number on the website. You'll talk to a live person. They'll answer all your questions. But let's get to this one. Jaguars taking on the Dolphins. And, you know, the Jaguars made the playoffs last season, won a playoff game. And, uh, you know, this year, hoping to take it to the next level. Of course, they were in the weakest division in football, and they made it in, you know, in a divi- in in a way that, well, they wouldn't have made it in if they played in any other division, and they wouldn't have made it in as a wild card team. But it doesn't matter. Once you get in, it is the second season. And Doug Peterson, for him, a little bit of uh, validation. You know, he of course he won the Super Bowl with the Philadelphia Eagles. Made some crazy decisions, on, you know, on the sideline in his final year in Philadelphia, and was finally shown the door. And I think last year in Jacksonville, I didn't, you know, we saw Peterson make, you know, coaching decisions, but not really just inexplicable decisions that cost his team the game, based upon the decision that he made. Not like it wasn't even like what happened on the plays of the decision I made. It was just the decision itself that cost them the games, but certainly seems to have reeled it in a little bit. At least he did last year. And we'll have to see if he's able to hold that together. But we did see that chemistry between uh, between Trevor Lawrence and uh, Kirk. And, you know, that is probably only going to grow this year as those guys really seem to have it dialed in. And the Jags, well, probably ready to take it to the next level. You have a coach that's won a Super Bowl and you have a team that's got a ton of super high draft picks on their roster. Well, that's usually a pretty good combination. On the other side of it, I think this year is do or die for the Miami Dolphins. Of course, I am a season ticket holder and have been. My father got the tickets the day the team started. So we've been lifetime season ticket holders for the Dolphins. That means we've had about 50 years of disappointment since that uh, <laughs> since the 70s, the last time they won a Super Bowl. But the thing is, this year's Dolphins team actually locked and loaded to get back to the Super Bowl for the first time since the 80s when Dan Marino was the quarterback. But the thing about this one is, is that, you know, Tua not going to play. And I think the Dolphins, what we saw last year is that when Tua played, Man, they were really, really good, and except when he played with the concussion. But when he played normally, the Dolphins won games, and I think that's what we're going to see a lot of. I don't think I don't think the Dolphins come out here to try and blow the Jaguars out of the building or anything, but they're getting a ton of points, and the Dogs have ruled these preseason games. I'm going to take the Dolphins in the points, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. Our betting tools are 100% free, and the way they work, they show you just how often all the bets on the board today actually hit. Then they show you today's odds, and from there, you can assess the risk-reward, putting yourself on the bets that come in the most and pay the most. That's how you make money betting on sports.